Oh, I know, and I've seen pictures of your dog in the pool, so I know your dog knows how to swim. And, Scotty, you just uh, came from the Lake of the Ozarks. I bet you your dog's probably jumped out of the boat once or twice to learn how to swim out there. The whole thing, though, is just because you hear of dog paddle, Kimberly, it doesn't mean that dogs really know how to paddle, especially when it comes to falling into the water. Yeah, not necessarily, you know, especially our smaller friends. They might not be natural born swimmers when they have those shorter snouts, shorter legs. So it's good to never leave your dogs unattended around the pool or if you're on the lake to have a, a floaty device on them as well. Our little superstar court here is going to help us out. And here's the thing. You bring up a great point. You have a little mini pool here to kind of get used to them. If you have a regular pool, maybe uh, teaching them where the step is or the closest exit. If they end up do following in, what are some good tips? Yeah, you always want to make it a positive experience when you're introducing your dog to the pool. Um, you don't want to force it. Not all dogs are going to want to go in. So sure. if you start small and have them on the steps and kind of just, you know, provide that positive reinforcement. If they don't want to go in, they don't want to go in. You know, you don't want to force it and make that a negative um, interaction for them. Here's the thing. We've all heard, you know, two seconds is too long. And when we talk about this, we're talking about kids around the mm -hmm. pool. But pets and dogs should be treated exactly the same. If you're having a big party, maybe throw a life jacket yeah. on, on, your, on your pet because you don't want them to accidentally fall in while no one's around or you're not paying attention. Exactly, especially if they're going to be around those smaller dogs. You want to have you can then you can just scoop them out too. You don't have to jump in right after them. Um, if you have a doggy door and you have a pool in the backyard, you want to make sure it's fenced off or that they're not left unattended because you might not know if they fell in. It's a lot quieter than you than you think. What would you say when when folks go in and just because the dog like Court will not step into this pool, but that's okay, right? Yeah. There's still ways that you could turn around and train them, even though he really doesn't want to get in. The last thing you want to do is the, is the old Uncle Leroy throwing you into the pool. Yeah, you don't want to throw them in the pool. You don't want to force them in. You want to take it slow. So it might take a while for them to, you know, get used to it. They might just not want to. Um, and if that's the case, when you're, you just want to make sure they're not left unattended. If they're around the pool, that you're close by, just in case anything happens. All right. So it's not only the kids that you have to be paying attention to. Make sure you're paying attention to your poochers. Maybe walk them through. Maybe get in the pool with them and see if they'll come with you. But I think the more important part is showing them the exit and exit strategy. Guys, you've seen all those viral videos where you've seen a, a dog accidentally fall into the pool, and yet there's another dog that helps them out or helps them get out. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you're not leaving them unattended, that you, you know, you're just keeping an eye on them like they're kids, right? You don't want to have a situation where um, something happens. All right, Tess, I know your dog is like Michael Phelps. Scotty, was yours a, a lake swimmer, or does your dog uh, get close to your pool there? Yeah, he'll get his feet wet. <laughs> We're still working on that. <laughs> Tash needs to cheat. Needs yeah. to teach he doesn't want to get his hair all frizzy. Doesn't <laughs> yeah. want to get his hair all frizzy. <laughs> he does have that long, pretty hair. So, all right. give me thank give you. Give important.